Okay, shifting gears now, let's go into some uh, park news as well. That this week it was announced that Disney are going to be um, closing down the Shop Disney Parks app. It'll be closing down at the end of the month, May 31st. And the reason for this is they're going to be using Shop Disney as their one stop online retail dis distribution service because generally they had these two different apps, two different websites. It seemed a bit odd of kind of having these kind of options of having different ways of doing it rather than just having simple Shop Disney. You have the Shop Disney app as well that you can use. So it makes sense for them to kind of clear down, just focus on one. Some of the features and stuff are already in like the My Disney Experience app. So if you wanted to find a specific um, uh, shop or a particular product, you can use that. And you can already, and apparently you can have it select to ship it back home. I think they basically decided that if you're at the parks, you might as they want you to use the My Disney Experience app. And if you're not at the parks, just use the Shop Disney. Kind of makes sense of what they've been doing with this one. Yeah, it's just basically why you need two sites when you already have the Disney Store website that already sells theme park products. So mm. it, it makes complete sense. Yeah, I mean, I think since they've rebranded the Shop Disney, it's been a lot more. It's been a lot more products on on there. They've been a lot more getting that park infamous if stuff on there. Which is great, you know, for those of us that aren't near the parks, you know, we want to get hold of that merchandise if they can make it easy and also if they can make it affordable. I mean, we literally just said just before we started recording, um, Matt picked up a pin, which he used a personal Disney shopper for. And that is essentially what happens when, and I used to do it when I used to buy products and stuff from the parks. So it was a lot cheaper and the only way of getting it was through um, people picking them up in store, and obviously they've taken a cut. And, and it's still it. the only option for those of us who are not from the States because mm. uh, the shipping from Shop Disney is expensive. It was like $50 for a shirt. <laughs> yeah, um, I've only used it a few times. I have done it. However, the big problem is you get hit with customs, you get hit with expensive shipping. So sometimes during the sales, it was work, kind of worth it, but I don't think I've had a official shop disney us order for a while the only good thing as well that when shop disney in the uk um kind of got rebranded for they started doing a lot more products in general the the amount of con stuff that they were doing was a much improvement and i buy from them quite regularly it's the thing it's quite nice having it i just wish they had better shipping options instead of it being a 50 pound order for free shipping True. I, I probably would buy a lot more i don't think uh, up in canada do you have a, i don't think you actually have the online store do they uh not in canada no we just have the stores and we used to have an option where if you wanted something from the store you could call them they could ship it to you but mm -hmm. we don't do that anymore so you're basically stuck either traveling hours just go to disney store mm -hmm. or get a u.s address and order from there and then have somebody pick it up for you in like niagara falls or new york or something yeah. yeah i mean uh they've done a lot they've been closing a lot of disney stores they used to be in my sort of region there used to be about four of them now the nearest proper official one i think is either in wales or in london you know they've really kind of um, trimmed down those disney stores and they've been doing that all I, yeah we only have like six of them in the entire province we have yeah. one of them in ottawa three of them in toronto one in mississauga one in barry and one in niagara falls and that's yeah. about it that's all the disney stores within say like 800 kilometers mm. Yeah, it's 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 they're international for, and also just as a whole, they've been really cut about. And I think this is the cool thing. They've been pushing Shop Disney more, and it makes sense for them to do that. You know, using this app. I mean, while you're in the app and you are picking up a product and you can have it shipped home, it's a little bit like how many people were actually using it. That was the big, probably the key thing. How many people were actually using it? Um, whereas you know, you pick the item up in the store, and say ship it back to my hotel or ship it back home. You know, things are just changing, and I think it's a good idea for them just to have a simple, simpler way. Use the My Disney Experience app for the stuff when you're at the park, and then obviously, then when you're oh, anyway away, you just use simple Shop Disney. But let us know in the comments below what you guys, if you agree or disagree with Disney kind of closing down the Shop uh, Disney Parks app.